Hey guys, I'm back. Today I want to show you how to cut and shape your stone. Today we're using Indiana limestone here for a demonstration. I start by making marks on my stone with a pencil. I score right around the stone all four sides. After that I get a chisel and I use my chisel and I chisel right into the mark. That way once we chisel right into our mark we're trying to create a weak spot. So once we go right all the four corners right around, we're gonna bang it in the back or the top, and that way it's gonna break off right in where we have our mark. After that, we wanna go ahead and try and face it. So now we're using a chisel just to line up the two edge of the stone. So we're removing the existing stone from in the middle. That way we can have the stone look nice and straight for when we're putting it onto our column. These stone that we're cutting now, we're cutting them up to use them on a column that we're going to install in our upcoming video after this video. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so when we upload those videos, you get notified and you can come back and watch those videos. Here we're also cutting up our stone as well. So we're trying to straighten the face of it as we go. Coming up in the video, we'll show you a few different techniques that you can use in order to face your stone. As you see, we have the big boy right here now. We'll leave those for loss. Just want to top maybe one or two times, depends on the size of the stone. The bigger it is, is the more pressure you have, to, you have to apply in order to get it to break. Here, I'm just using my hammer as a chisel. Once you chisel right around with your hammer, it's going to take you some time, some practice to can aim to get it right in the pencil mark like you see I'm doing it now. Once you chisel into it like that, you're going to just hit it on the top or at the back. So that way you can get the weak spot and it should break off straight into where you have the line. Go right across. Again, after that, you want to make sure that you straighten it. So you're going to move the middle section so that way the middle line up with the two outer hands that way it looks nice and straight to go on the column if you get involved from this video so far go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more point video like this one we're at i believe 35,000 or 30 something thousand subscribers right now and i couldn't do it without you guys and i want to say thank you i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart Thank you for sticking around and help to grow the channel to what it is today. But if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and be a part of the 1KB Foundation. We'd love to have you on board. So this is the bigger one that we're doing right now. This one, I'm just using my hammer. I have my pencil mark onto my stone right now. And I'm using my hammer to just core it right across. So I'm just trying to chisel it with my hammer. And then sometimes I just go ahead and use my chisel as well. And for the top, you want to put a, give it a, a few nice um, hit on the top. And at the, at the other side, you also want to give it two nice hit. That way, when it, once you start to hit it, you're going to get it to break right into the, the line mark that you have on your stone. And after that, we're just going to face it. Just like we did earlier, we move the middle section so that way it can line up with the two other hands. Here we're just cutting it off so that way we can have it ready to go on our column for installation. We're just going to keep on repeating the same process. If you have any question regarding this stone facing or, or chipping, feel free to leave them in the comment section.